I'm Harriet. Dave, my Reno. name is Robert Anne Humes. Holmes. My name is Mary Beth. Uh, my name is uh, Helen Joseph Wong. Uh, Bendis. My name is Ken Dorfman. Okay, my name is Dion. My name is Vinny Jackson. Uh, my name is Rachel Cole. Cole. Kathy Hempstead. And Andrew Armstrong. Claudette Michael Barlow. Decker. My name is Norman Judith. Greenberg. Alain Lescaré. Nancy Richardson. Lydia Olga Vandervliet. Vander Vander Donald Vandervliet. Hi, this is uh, David Holm. You want it from the beginning, the very beginning? Yeah, let's go back okay. to the earliest days. How Eden started? In the 70s, no one knew anything about autism. No one cared about autism. It was pretty difficult. I mean, the joke we used to tell is when you, when you told somebody you had an autistic kid, they said, that's fantastic, my kid can't even draw. They thought you said he was artistic. David Holmes had gotten a group of parents together and wanted to start our own school. So we had the meeting, and 14 parents out of the 17 went with it to start the school. There were 17 kids, I think, our first year, and the oldest was a young teenager, and they went down to like age three. Just a few staff, and it was very small. We were in the basement of Trinity Church on Mercer Street in Princeton. Well, the big first debate was to buy a Xerox machine. Yeah. You said we couldn't do it. Yeah, he was and the treasurer, and he said, we didn't have the money, we can't do that. But they did it anyway. But wiser, wiser <laughs> heads was, prevailed. That was a couple the, of years down the road. Yeah. We just did what was right, what the kids needed. There was no rules, there was no regulations, there was no, no guidelines. And then we were in Nassau Christian Center in the, the basement of the church in Princeton on Nassau Street. We had to take our room apart every Friday because they had classes there on the weekends and we had to put it together every Monday. Yeah, we had our OT was in the boiler room and it was an old, loud boiler room. And that's where you go and you hear all the banging of stuff and the kids are like, fine. And <laughs> I mean, as parents, we didn't sign up for it, but as educators, they did. You know, and they, they <laughs> stick to it, so it's amazing. If, if it was for kids or for families, he said do it, and we'll figure out how to fund it. And it was just such a great place to be with that kind of attitude. And he said, I have a favor. I said, yeah, Dave, what do you need, you know? And he said, how do we get one of the guys to go to work? There's never... We've never had somebody with autism working. After you got to meet the people, you knew they were all there for a cause, and they were going to, it was going to last. They were going to make it last. It's a realization of our vision. It really is exactly like it, like we always thought it would be. Yeah, Eden is the best. I wonder where I would be without Eden. These are my children. This is the family.